Good afternoon guys, my name is Yudi and I'm from Unified Networking Lab team. In this video I will show you how to add and how to use uh, Linux Live CD into your UNL machines. Pretty easy. So, the, one of my favorite uh, Slux Linux and uh, I downloaded it from that site. It's free of course yeah, and, and uh, everything what you need It's just to download. Uh, I saw image. Yeah, it's, uh, you can use the smallest, the smallest one, which is damn small Linux. Yeah, it's and uh, this one. So I'm going to show what we what we have to do and how to add this Linux uh, host into your UNL machine. Well, so I downloaded them. Here are they. The first thing, please create the directories uh, where will be the base your Linux. So I'm going to create two, two new folders. Cool. So the first name will be Linux. Uh, Slux Linux. Rename. I'm getting this name. Copy and paste. Where's uh, rename? Yeah. Rename, paste. And uh, I'm modifying this name to Slux. And this is very important that you are right before in the name Linux dash. This this part is most important. Linux dash. Then it can be your name of your Linux here. So the one folder is done. Let's do another one for damn small Linux. Rename. I'm saying Linux dash. Damn small Linux. No. It's DSL. DSL uh, version. It's uh, uh, 4.4.10. All right. So two folders done. Then the place your dist distro into correct folders. It is in damn small Linux and the slugs is here. Good. Now second step. Open up and rename this name to cd from dot iso one. And for them, small Linux. So let's go again. Let's rename CD from done. So we prepare two directories which will be used inside of UNL. Now I'm going to open WinSCP. So I have running my UNL, UNL machine. It's 109, 22128, right? So I'm going to uh, connect the new site. It will be SCP protocol 192.168.22.128. The username is default root and the password is UNL, small caps. Uh, all right, save password login. Good. Yes, accept the key. So, and look, uh, we connect. What's this? Something happens. So I fixed this. Yeah, it's it was small fault. So I, I just installed and I'm testing now the VM VMware 12. Um, so you can see that Workstation 12 Pro and something wrong. Yes, but everything is fixed now, and you can see this is a working directory root of the UNL machine. The next step, I'm going to find out where is Linux distros, which I created one and two. Now follow options. Unit lab, add-ons, and the directory chemo. So I'm going to remove uh, the copy of these two folders into chemo. Let's do. So that's fine. Let's check. Yes, and we have, and we can see that we have some Linux 2 folders are now into uh, this pass. Uh, copy past the clipboard and just, just for you to know. Yeah, it's just remember that the correct pass for these folders will be options, unit lab, add ons, chemo. All right. So let's test. So I'm going to open up the unified this site. Yeah, 
Let's go in. Yeah, and accepting admin. Don't need it right now. Login. Let's do some new lab. Okay. Linux test. Oops. Linux test. Version 1 created by UD. All right. It's we are adding this this lab. Let's open up it and edit lab. And let's let's do the notes. So nodes, Linux, 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 where's Linux? Linux. So I'm going to show that Slack's Linux. That's one of my favorite. It's a little bit, yeah. It's uh, the RAM could uh, could be reduced. It's one two, one twelve, five twelve. So I'm going to add. You can see the node is added, and we can try to get it. My LAN. LAN. And it is connected uh, to the pnet zero, which is not adapted on this VM machine. Okay, let's let's check interfaces. Connect to my LAN. Save. Good. Labs done. Okay, let's start. Let's check. Start. So now this started, and let's click on it and let's check how it looks. You can see that it is booting now. All right, let's wait. The damn small Linux will, will boot much faster. Yeah, it's it's very small. It's it's only 50 max, and you can use the RAM. It's a 256 for it. Yeah, it's a for Slack. I'm using more. So just better look. Yeah, it's like on a desktop. It's like a Windows machine. Yeah, it's, but it is full functional Linux, and you can use in your labs and a host. So here we are. So you can see the screen. Uh, let me check a little uh, resolution. Uh, Okay, let's do so. Accept configuration, and here we are. You can see the Linux is running now. <clears throat> so, it should it should get IP address from my config. Let's check it. So if he got IP address from. Yeah, it got IP address 129. Yeah, it's, it is from my NAT adapter. Yeah, it's, and we can try to google.com. So, here we are. Thank you for viewing.